the three gym leaders types that I've lost to in the past. Fire, water, and ice. With water being the major one. <laughs> that battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I've got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. <laughs> what? what kind of name is that? <laughs> okay. Bob's Your Uncle? That's the weirdest name for a restaurant ever. Like, what? So I guess after this is the seventh gym leader, right? I wonder what type they're gonna be. Can we finally get a dark type gym leader for the first time? Got that gym badge, she bugger? Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? And a fifth type Wait, I'll, uh, it says fifth. I thought it said filth for a second. I was like, that's messed up. Absolutely fantastic poster. But yeah, a new chap in the old Gala Legends, I guess. The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? Wait, are those tombstones? Oh, they have died. What was the meaning of this picture? An end to the legend or some kind of seal? Both, I guess? Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? Based on those statues we saw back in Stow Inside, the Sword and Shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Yep. Do you think it could have been one of them, either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Chibaga? In the slumbering world, yeah, I remember. Exactly! The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right! You might have been in the slumbering world! I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Churchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. I don't guess we're exploring Churchester more. <laughs> How is just Pop is just running. We took off. I do this. The hot springs is right there, man. You don't gotta be running. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that made here? I think I'll have to look into that. Well, you know, you got those two pictures of wolves on the side. I mean, stone carvings. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the suburban world. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What? Like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one? So I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. I think I would rather have a sword too, but the shield version has more scoops of Pokemon on one, so... What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Chibug? I think we could pull off a real heroic battle? Absolutely! Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. Oh, really? So you want to take out my beware? I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Chewbacca, so give it your best. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. Oh, 
Oh, is this hailing? Oh man. Double. <gasps> His Mulu evolved! I'm counting on you, partner. Oh man, I never got to switch my items around. <laughs> Used to have a choice card. Let's go with hammer arm. Of course I'm gonna outspeed you. What? Oh, come on, game. Well, I guess it is a 90% accurate move. And Monokuma's been pretty accurate with it. Now that's a proper move. Switch you out with. Uh, don't want to. Yeah, let's use cheese. Yo, that icon for the scary face is kind of scary. Get it, I'm slower than you. <laughs> I am late. And then the hell took it down. Oh, we're looking to learn nasty plots. That's a good setup. Maybe. Then I have to get rid of something. Uh, never mind. Rilla boom. I must definitely have to switch out now. Have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps going strong. Are you really gonna say that every time, man? I'll give you a taste of my power, Pyro Ball. Dang it.
that's a special attack, isn't it? Alright, now let's try this again and take a torch. <laughs> out new Pokemon every battle now. Huh? Guess cheese. I don't know, this thing looks like a sea urchin, so the best I can guess is water type. Electric Titan or something else. I've no, I got, <laughs> I, I, I have no clue what type it is. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain, and we'll get them back for it. And how often Hob would be changing Pokemon, I feel like he's doing a nose lot too. <laughs> the special rules though. Think you've got me cornered not even close. It'll be the greatest when I steal this win back. Ooh, return of the Snorlax. I want to switch to Monokuma, but then Monokuma is like at half health, and I don't know what this Snorlax is about to do. Crit! Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't put in Monokuma. <laughs> Even though Monokuma probably wouldn't have took that much damage. Better safe than sorry, right? Alright, and let's use Revenge. 
Dang it. Come on. Do not get... Thank you. I still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. And he got closer to beating me that time, while well, killing some more Pokemon, I guess you could say. Thanks! You two gave a right proper battle, at the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon make me in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering wheel. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym, then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Move next. Who's Spike Mutt? Seems like you finally shook off that coon. Leon worried if Pop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, he wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Yeah, he, he put the number on my team. <laughs> Alright, let's change my outfit again, even though it's gonna, they're gonna rob me blind. Ooh, I know. Maybe I could try to look like Tiki from Fire Emblem, my favorite Fire Emblem character. Let's see what I can make up. Okay. Alright. Now let's go spend 50,000 on the dress just because we can. But yeah, I'll leave it white, which kind of represents the cape even though I don't got pink. And I can't do much about the boots, because they don't have any many options for shoes. Like the boots don't come in different colors for some reason. So this is probably the best I can do to try to look like TV. That's so funny, they technically paid me for me to send them my Pokemon to boost my Pokemon stats. They paid me for my benefit. <laughs> I can go catch the next Pokemon, whoever that will be. This way. Yeah, this should be the next route, right? Route 9. Should I go fishing or should I look in the grass? I don't know, look in the grass. If there's grass. Crab a kingler. I don't know why I was about to say Crabbler. <laughs> Defense of 48. Uh, I don't know if you can survive a hit from Kingler. Deep is not that great. 
but I want to find a way for you to make it easier to catch you. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, Flail, yo, you should definitely be able to survive that. We didn't do any damage to Kingly. Better tank most attacks that they can throw. Um, which one is stronger? Zen headbutt. Let's go Zen headbutt. Try to catch you. Just tell you, Bob. There we go. All right. Its oversized claw is very powerful, but when it's not in battle, the claw just gets in the way. Queen Blur. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. No one will notice the difference. Ah, oh, you got a nature that lowered your attack. Man. Let's go fight this person over here. Meeting a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. Very yet. The rack's good, uh. I know, uh, all I can guess from just from looking at it is that it's water type of curse, of course, but I don't know what else it could be. Dang, Louie's gonna be faster. I don't got anything to waste a turn. Oh, wait! Okay, never mind. That thing's actually way faster than I thought. <laughs> Lou's user's just been outspeeding everything. But then again, that thing does have, like, a tail that's like the powder, so of course this thing would be fast now that I think about it. Too. 
stronger one always wins. How simple. <gasps> Hooligan is evolving. I wonder what its final form is going to be. Grim Snarl. This thing looks deadly. Its hair works like muscle fibers. When its hair is unfurled, they latch onto opponents and snare them as tentacles would. The bulk up Pokemon. Alright. Not expect you to turn into that. Spirit Break. Yo, what move is this? This uh, Spirit Break, this sounds broken. But knowing Pokemon is probably not. The user attacks the target with so much force that it could break the target's spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you attack someone so badly, you break their spirit. They don't want to. They don't want to participate anymore. They they gave up. <laughs> oh wow, your attack stat jumped. You used to have a higher special attack, but now your attack stat's way higher. So yeah, if you get draining kiss. Yeah, I want to use spirit break. I want to break some spirits. See the image and cast your line is simple, that means it's profound. Well, since Hooligan is a physical attacker now, that means I, let me go back and remember that other move that it had. Man, when will I be able to go on to water? Like, that's so weird. Seven gym badges and still not capable of going on the water yet? Another. I don't know what this po. Makes that? Oh, it's. Okay, I know what you are. You're Marini. <laughs> I gonna tell in the grass. I was trying to figure out if that was a new Pokemon. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, wait, the trainer was just here. Where did they go? My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? So. Now she kind of reminds me of Pearl a little bit from Spatsy. Oh wait, I think I bought one of these before, so now I can see what type you are. Wait, I have it? I could've sworn I bought you! I swear I fought Darren Maka before. In the gym challenge. So I don't know why it's not telling me it's type. The only thing I know is that it's ice. <laughs> But I most definitely defeated one of these before, so that's kind of weird it's not telling me it's type. Nah, I don't think I need it. Especially if it's 85% accurate. <laughs> I'm gonna be missing that all the time. And it's a two turn move? Yeah, nah. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that fills out moves like an elegant dance. Oh, 
I walk on this? Thank you for staying until the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and to comment below. And if you want to see more content from yours truly, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, until next time, remember to be a legend and have a great day.